what's up? It's Real Day. You know how to re-up. All right, today we're gonna be doing a reaction video. GTA 6. We're not friends to it. Y'all want the good news or the bad news? It's both kind of good and bad. Um, we, we've got some potential Grand Theft Auto 6 information here I wanted to share with you all. And uh, I just, I wanna preface by saying, take everything with a grain of salt. There are-, are Yeah, for sure. Take everything with a grain of salt. You never know. Um, with all these people, because it's a highly anticipated game, you know what I'm saying? So there's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna be faking, faking trailers or whatever, but this might be real, you know what I'm saying? Never know. So many times that we get leaks and rumors and stuff popping up that are completely, you know, untrue, even from reliable sources. Like people, people can be wrong, but I always like covering the, the more likely ones and the ones that come from more reliable places just because it's fun to think about. So, so don't take this as fact. Not even gonna lie, I'm not even paying, paying attention to what he's saying. I'm looking at the video. Hey, like the video right now. Don't, you know, believe in this too hard, but it's just something for us to think about and talk about. So today, a very reliable leaker that has been around the community for a long time. Some of you guys might even remember him from back in the COD days. So he, he goes by Chris Henderson now, but he used to be the long Ooh. sensation. Hey, if this real, bruh. Todd days, so he, he goes by Chris Henderson now, but he used to be that the long crazy. sensation. He has been leaking COD stuff for years. He leaked a ton of stuff about Battlefield 2042, like well beyond, like a week before the trailer came out. Like he's got a very solid track record. I have no clue where he gets his information from, but the dude is on point. He's definitely got insiders in the gaming space somewhere. He made some pretty elaborate statements about GTA 6 today, and a lot of the Damn. major websites and publications are reporting on it. I wanna be taking a look at a GameSpot article right here. So again, it, that doesn't mean anything just because everybody else is reporting on it doesn't make it true. Take it with a grain of salt, but let's talk about this. Fans have been waiting for almost- Hey, this look, this looking legit. This looking legit, can't, can't fake, can't fake. Eight years for a new Grand Theft Auto game. And according to one leaker with a solid track record, the gap between main entry releases won't be over until 2025. That's right. Mr. Henderson claims that the game won't be coming out until 2025. And he Damn. quotes that, first of all, Rockstar is-, is I'm gonna be a grown man in 2025. Am I still gonna be a gamer? I don't know. Only time will tell. If I do end up still being a gamer, but I'm not really OC a gamer, I'll probably play GTA, cause that's a hot. You gotta play it each time it comes out, cause it's a while. So it's gonna be a while before each one comes out, cause it's like a lot that goes into that game. So that's definitely gonna be a game that I'll be playing, even if I'm older, if I do end up playing games or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, obviously it's gonna be cut down like significantly, but really kind of putting an emphasis on employee well-being not crunching down not working them to the bone stuff like that that has always been a major 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 issue in game development it was something weren't they you know kind of accused of with red dead redemption 2 they really had some pretty crazy hours to put in towards you know release so they're saying hey we're not doing that anymore we are going to treat our employees right they're going to have good schedules they're not going to be worked to the bone and we're going to take our time with this and the reason why they can do that is because of the GTA 5 revenue stream. Because GTA Online is still pulling in the big bucks. We've still got all kinds of people buying shark cards and stuff like that. So why would they rush it? Like they're already making good money. Are they making as much as they would be Bad, no. if they had GTA 6? No, but that money's gonna be able to keep them going. It's you gonna grease go. the skids. It's gonna keep you know the, the shareholders happy and the execs happy and, and stuff like that. It's gonna keep the door open for them to kind of take their time and work on the I sold my GTA 5. If you really play GTA, like it, it'd be getting boring after a while, but I sold it. Probably the dumbest decision I ever made because now I miss it. I built my player up to like a high level or whatever, did all this stuff, and it's like, bro, I do not feel like doing that over again. So I'm gonna just wait till 6 comes out the masterpiece that will be GTA 6. So, I, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of people online saying like, oh, what do we gotta do? Stop playing, you know, GTA 5, let's, let's go on strike, let's not do it. No, you're looking at it the wrong way, dude. 
it is a good thing. GTA 5 is still fantastic. We're still getting updates for it. We're still getting new vehicles and all kinds of stuff like that. I haven't been playing as much lately, but I mean, it's it's still popping. It's still one of the, the you know, most played, most beloved games mm -hmm. of today, even though it's, you know, nearly 10 years old or however old it is, getting close to 10 years. So, um, you know, I think it's a good thing. The, the fact that we still have a great game that yeah. they're keeping updated and it's, it's allowing them to have more time to make an even better game in the future. Because Rockstar doesn't miss. We know Rockstar creates absolute they masterpieces. Mean, so imagine what they're going to be able to do sure. when they essentially have unlimited time to be able to do it. I'm not saying, you know, it don't take like 20 years, but if it takes them 10 years, 11 years, I'm all right with that. Now, we've been hearing rumors about Vice City for so long. We've been hearing about how we're going to be going back to Miami. A lot Very of the sweet. rumors said it was going to actually take place in Vice City's time period. So back in the 80s with, you know, the, the big drug cartels and drug trade and, and the, you know, Lamborghini Countach's, you know, Wolf of Wall Street status, that sort Very of thing. Sweet. It turns out, if Mr. Henderson is true here, that's not the case. It's actually going to be a modern day Miami, which I'm not going to lie. Being back in the 80s would be cool. I'm definitely more excited about a modern day Miami. Yeah, sure. I, I think, you know, GTA 5, it lets you live out your fantasies, having penthouses in LA and, and you know, all this, this big fleet of modern mm -hmm. cars and stuff like that. I think moving that over to Miami is going to be really, really cool. You know, yachts, personal yachts and yacht sure, parties sure. and South Beach and stuff like that. Like, I, I, think, I think it's going to be super sick. My is it going to be too much the same? Man. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I, I feel like it really kind of hits us in that that thing. Like, what would you do if you had literally millions or tens of millions or mm -hmm. hundreds of millions of dollars? You get to live that fantasy in the game world. And I, I just, I, I, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, Henderson said that they're, they're going to do that because it gives them more creative freedom. You know, we can't have old school stuff and new school stuff and maybe even slightly futuristic stuff like concept cars and stuff like we've had in GTA 5. Whereas if it was based in the past, you're locked into the past. And you've got to think, like, I mean, if GTA 5 is going to be around for 10 years, GTA 6 probably will be too. They want to make yeah. sure that baby is future-proofed so they aren't locked into one specific time period and, and run out of content to work with. So I, mm -hmm. I, I think that checks out. For me, I'm excited about that, and it makes a lot of sense. Last but not least, Henderson also discussed a potential for the GTA 6 map to change over time, similar to how Epic Games regularly overhauls its Fortnite map during the end of season events. This is another thing I could definitely Definitely see happening. I, I feel like, you know, for these big, massive online games, it's, it's kind of something that's going to continue to happen. We see it in Fortnite. We see it in, in you know, Verdansk with Warzone and stuff like that. I, I can definitely see it happening with GTA. We, we do kind of have this with GTA 5. You know, it's not like the actual main map is expanding, but we have had little additions and DLCs like the Cayo Perico yeah. and stuff like that. So imagine that just on a bigger scale. We could add in new areas. We could add in new islands. There, there was the rumor, you know, quite quite a few months ago that, that came out that like, it was going to be set in the 80s, but we were going to be going down to like Colombia some and then maybe even over to like Cuba and stuff like that. So it, it could totally happen there. You know what I mean? Like it, they could continue evolving the map and growing it and, and you know, just kind of making it better and, and bigger as time goes on, which I think would be pretty cool. So, yeah, that that's that's the rumor here. That is what's happening again. He's got a fantastic track record. Like he he genuinely, I, I, I've known of him, like not known him, but like I've been around, I've, I've spoken with him and stuff like that over the years. He's a good dude. He's always had the COD intel. So legit. He absolutely slayed the Battlefield intel well before that was revealed and everything. I, I, I don't know. I, I think he's got a lot of solid, you know, backing behind him. I, I think he's, he's got some respect. He's, he's got some cojones in this space. So I, I, I could see this being true. It, it all checks out for me. It also all could be completely wrong. You know, we're still so far out from 2025 or whenever it's going to be coming out, even if it's 2024, yeah. 2023, it's still such a long ways away. Things can always change. You never really know what's going to be going on. But the fact that we're talking about this, the fact that we're getting real legitimate, legitimate leaks and, and things yeah, are starting to heat up, it just gets me excited. Dude. Step in the right direction. This is going to be the best game of all time. This is going to be the game we play the most of ever. I mean, this this is going to be my baby. I I, I absolutely cannot wait. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Miami, South Beach, Vice City, baby. Modern day. Can't wait to be just balling out, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio throwing money off of yachts and stuff. It's going to be great. 
Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. No, do not play. Okay. So yeah, GTA 6. Apparently, apparently. But yeah, I hope it. I hope it's for real. Why is it playing? So I hope it's for real. Um, cause that'll be sweet. You know what I'm saying? GTA 6. The whole GTA franchise. That's I like that franchise. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I sold GTA 5. That was probably one of the dumbest decisions. Especially the GameStop. Like, you barely get anything back. If you could have a whole new system and they'll give you $10. So that's dumb. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Just re-up day. You know how to re-up. I'm out. Hit the like button, hit the bell, hit all that. Yeah.